In this lesson, we will look at importing and exporting contacts. So believe it or not, these functions have not changed much since as long as I have been using Outlook, which is quite some time. If you need to transport your contacts to another computer or another email program or another family member, there are ways to share these contacts. But if you need to move or copy your entire contacts list to a new location, then you should export the contacts to a file. Let's assume you are moving to a new PC and you want to start fresh on the new PC, but you definitely intend to keep all your contacts from your old PC. Both PCs use Outlook 2016. You know that you will need to export your contacts from your old PC and import them at your new PC. For the purposes of this example, we'll be using the same PC to show you, but you'll get the idea. So we're going to start with the export. Let's assume we're at the old PC now, and we're within Outlook 2016. We'll navigate to the Outlook Backstage by selecting the File tab in the upper left corner of the ribbon here. From here, we'll select the Open and Export option from the menu on the left. From the Open and Export menu on the right, we're going to choose the option for Import Export. And when we do that, we get the Import and Export wizard. Here, there are multiple options because this is the point of contact for importing or exporting anything to or from Outlook. So in this first screen of the window, we're determining the action we want to take. In this case, we are going to select Export to a file, and then we'll click Next. Here we have a few options. The Outlook data file is useful if we're moving our entire mailbox to another Outlook folder. And if that were something you wanted to do, you could do that. For now, we're just looking to move the contacts, so we're going to use comma separated values, or CSVs, for transmitting contacts. It's basically an Excel spreadsheet with mapped columns that indicate the information, such as first name, last name, address, so on and so forth. So comma separated values is very commonly used for this function. We'll select comma separated values and click next. Now the next menu here allows us to choose the folder to export from. If you're in an exchange environment, the list of folders can be vast. Nonetheless, no matter the environment, you're looking for the contacts folder and the icon will look like a business card, not a folder. So let's look for that. Here we go. Contacts looks like a business card. This is the email address from which I wish to remove or export the contacts. There are other options in some cases if you have multiple accounts set up like we do. So you can see here that in our iCloud account, we've got multiple contacts. For now, for the purposes of our export, we'll choose our Knowledge City contacts and we'll select Next. Now this option here allows you to decide where you want to save the file. You can browse to a file location and we will do that. We'll select our desktop. And you can see that save as file type here is comma separated values or .csv. And then we'll enter the name of the file here. We'll select OK. And you can see that what's been pasted here is the location of the file with the file name. Once you've done that, we'll click Next. Now this Next and Last window has two purposes. Number one, to confirm your action. Number two, it allows you to map custom fields. See this button here? This allows you to map custom fields. What does that mean? The custom fields simply helps to ensure that the first name column is mapped to the first name column, the address is mapped to the address column, and in most cases this will be mapped correctly if you leave it as default. It wasn't always this way, but Outlook has gotten much better at the mapping, particularly in this case since we're moving from Outlook 2016 to Outlook 2016, this should not be an issue. We'll click Finish. The export only takes a few seconds if you've got only a few contacts. If you've got a very vast contact list, this may take some time. So just bear with the process, go get some coffee, relax, and then it should be done within a few moments. And you can see if we navigate to our desktop here, here's our file. 
You can see also that the icon looks quite a bit like an Excel icon, and that's because the comma separated values file by default is set to open in Excel. But you can notice that it's slightly different with this little A comma indicating a comma separated value here. So we finished our export. We've moved to our new computer. We've opened Outlook 2016 and set up our email. And now what we want to do is import our contacts. Now I'm planning to walk you through the entire import process, but I won't complete the import since we already have the contacts in this Outlook. To import our CSV file into Outlook 2016 at this new PC, we will need to have moved that CSV file that we saved in the last step of the export from the old PC to the new PC. So we've got it to the new computer and we've saved it on the new computer's desktop and now we want to import the file into Outlook. So now we're in Outlook 2016 on the new PC and we want to import our contacts. We'll navigate to the backstage by clicking the file. We'll click the open and export option again and again we'll choose the import export. So we're basically going through the same process. Now here's where we veer off slightly differently. Rather than export to a file, which we're not doing, we want to import a file. And the safest way to go here is to import from another program or file. This is the safest way to go since we're importing a file. We'll choose that option. We'll choose next. We already know that our file is a comma separated values file. We'll select next. And in most cases we would have to browse for the file so we could browse. Here it is on our desktop. Select it choose OK. And then there's an options menu here. Do we want to replace any duplicates? Do we want to allow duplicates to be created or not import duplicates? We'll allow duplicates to be created just in case. And then we'll click Next. Now we need to select the location of our files. If you've set up your email inbox, there's a good chance you already have a contacts card created for your account. So you can just simply click on the contacts within the correct account and click next and then this is that verification field that allows you to verify that everything looks good double check the mapped custom fields if you want you can change your destination if you want to do that and once you're all set and done you click the finish option the finish will import those contacts into your contacts here and you'll be good to go so you have just successfully exported and imported contacts to and from Outlook 2016. The process isn't perfect and some things may be a little out of place at times. Just make any adjustments to individual contacts if needed. And if something major is incorrect, like let's say all of your email addresses end up in phone number fields, then you'll want to go back, repeat the process, but this time verify the mapping is correct and you'll be good to go. That completes this lesson on importing and exporting contacts in Outlook 2016.